Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between a data source and a data set? So data source is a set of data source connection properties and data set is a presentation of the results returned by the query running on the data source. So that's very simple. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, uh, here in the SSRS project uh, that I have opened in uh, SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, uh, and uh, you see that shared data sources. Uh, so, shared data source is a data source uh, that can be used uh, across multiple uh, reports. Uh, and I have created a lot of videos on that why we need it and uh, where we need it. Uh, so, if I right click here, add the new data source. Uh, and you see here it is asking us uh, some of the properties uh, it is asking us provide the name uh, so think about that if i would like to connect uh, to one of the sql server uh, and uh, the database name is regional sale uh, so this is what i would like to connect and extract data from tables or use store procedure and anything from here so i have to make a connection uh, in the the report project uh, so i can use that one and uh, that can be only as a, that can be used as a shared data source so, so multiple reports can be used in that data source or it can be embedded in only one report so let's say, we'll say we call this one ds underscore regional sale then next uh, you have to uh, select the type we have sql server we have oracle we have teradata we have a microsoft sharepoint we have x uh, have xml um, and there are a lot of others so you can see only db or dbc so you can select the type according to the server or document you are trying to access so in my case it is sql server then i have to edit it uh, click edit and provide the server name so if i click here uh, in my case i'm going to select the server name real quick sorry server name and this is the connection string that's part of data source properties so we have to provide it here and then select uh, the database uh, so regional sale and hit ok now you see that we have properties name type and connection string also we have to provide the credentials in my case uh, right now it is using windows authentication so it will be using my credentials as i have logged in um, by using those username and password you can also provide the username and password if you would like or prompt for credentials so once uh, somebody try to access that report it will pop up hey provide your username and password so i'm going to leave to the my username and password for now so this is a data source this is how you will be creating a data source and then you can use in any other report right now this is a shared data source so we can use or we can create inside the report that's called embedded this is a report empty report if i will see different tabs here we have data sources that's the first thing we need to do and uh, here we have option so this is the name inside the report it is going to use it it's good idea to keep the same as your shared so you would know that uh, which data source it should be connecting let's say i call this one ds regional sale and now i have option i can create the from here this will be embedded the same way we did the shared one or we use the reference with the shared so we can use a shared and hit ok now data set as i said it is a representation of the results returned by the query so any anything we are using store procedure or uh, we are using view or we are just using simple uh, select or uh, selecting data from table view or function uh, so that results uh, are returned that's called our data set uh, so let's say we call this one a uh, ds uh, uh, total sale and uh, it can be shared or it can be embedded in this case i had already created one shared called month name shared so it returns us the month name we can use that one or uh, uh, we can um, use the embedded one that will be only available in this report so we call this one let's say we say select asterisk from dbo dot total sale table and if you would like to use store procedure you can provide the store procedure here and uh, you hit ok and you see that the fields are returned so you see that all the fields are returned and this is the data returned by the our data set so you can insert into the table or view as uh, matrix or chart or whatever you want to use you can use it and here we can review our report 
So data source is the connection uh, made to your uh, source uh, and the data set is the data returned by your query or a store procedure on the data source so that's how you can explain that and give that example if you can uh, if you would have time uh, go through the shared data source uh, and tell them if uh, you, your report is using or using or connecting to the same server uh, and same database uh, it's a good idea to use a shared data source uh, and uh, also i have video uh, on the shared data set why we need to use it and I will recommend watching it so you can explain in the interview. Thanks very much and I will see you guys in the next video.